The main thing to remember about operant conditioning is that reinforcement always increases the future likelihood of a behavior occurring and punishment always decreases the likelihood of behavior occurring. Let's take a look at this two by two table of operant consequences. Notice we have a plus and a minus. You should think of this as adding something to the environment or taking something away. Do not think of the plus and minus as good or bad, but rather just a mathematical operation. So we have our operation, are we adding something or subtracting something? On the consequence side, we're going to either add a reinforcer or remove a reinforcer. Let's think of our example with Callie. When Dr. Zelig gave a piece of fish to Callie, she was using that fish as a reinforcer and it was an appetitive stimulus, something that we enjoy. We can also increase behavior by removing something aversive. For example, you wake up and your alarm clock is blaring loud. That's very aversive. You turn your alarm clock off, you remove that aversiveness from your environment, and you're likely to engage in that behavior again in the future. Reinforcer is always increasing behavior. Let's look at punishers. In this box, we would call this positive reinforcement because we're adding something to the environment. In this box, we call it negative reinforcement because we're taking something away. We can also use these operations for punishment. For a punisher, if we add something aversive after a behavior occurs, we're going to see a decrease in the likelihood of that behavior occurring in the future. We can also remove something positive or repetitive and also see a decrease. So, for example, if you touch a light switch with a wet hand and you get shocked, you're adding pain to your environment and you probably won't do that again in the future. Here, you're playing with your video games and you hit your brother and your mom takes away your video games, you're losing something that you enjoy and you're less likely to engage in that behavior again in the future. So in this example, this would be positive punishment because you're adding a punisher and in this box, it would be negative punishment because you're taking away something that is appetitive or something that we like, and we also see a decrease in behavior. Reinforcement increase, punishment decrease.